I will explain the qualitative risk analysis steps, which is a continuous and repeated process. Whether you are using predictive or agile approach, your risk management plan should define how and when to conduct the analysis. The first step is gathering data. Here we collect background materials that will assist in the analysis, which includes the following. The risk management plan, project documents such as assumption log, risk register, stakeholder register. In addition, you may benefit from industry studies of similar projects, published materials, including commercial risk databases or checklists, and information from similar past projects at your organization. The second step is assessing the risks, probability of occurrence and impact are the key factors used to assess risk, but other risk characteristics should be of concern. These are urgency. That means the period of time within which a response to the risk must be implemented in order to be effective. The other one is proximity. That means the period of time before the risk might have an impact on project objectives. The other one is dormancy. And that means the period of time that may elapse after a risk has occurred before its impact is discovered. The other one is controllability. And that means the degree to which the risk owner is able to control the risk's outcome. The other one is detectability. And that means the ease with which the results of the risk occurring or about to occur can be detected. The another one is connectivity. This means the extent to which the risk is related to other individual project risks. The last one is strategic impact. That means the potential for the risk to have a positive or negative effect on the organization's strategic goals. Then prioritize the risks using descriptive terms like low, medium, high, or numeric values depending on the specifications of the risk management plan. More than three categories may be used. Consider visualizing data, for example, a probability and impact matrix lets you map two factors. A bubble chart lets you map three factors such as detectability along with probability and impact. The third step is updating your project documents to reflect what you have learned. For example, risk register. This document shows which risks are present currently and their relative priority. If you'd like to learn more about risk management, you can attend our risk or project management courses. Please contact me at my mail address as seen on the screen now, and you can find it in the description section.